Hey and welcome everyone to a new video. My name is Capunator and it is a pleasure to talk to you today. A huge thank you to all of you who just subscribed and supported me. It is really amazing. I will give my best to bringing out good content. For those of you who aren't subscribed, don't forget to click the sub button, like this you never miss Call of Duty content. Today I show you some Black Ops 4 gameplay with the Cordite on Nuketown. My capture card is still in reparation, so I thought this will entertain you, since I have no Warzone or Modern Warfare footage. It is a 103 to 16 round, probably the best I ever had. I hope you enjoy this. So since in the last two videos I was complaining about certain things in Modern Warfare and Warzone, I will mention 10 things which I would change in Modern Warfare multiplayer and Warzone to improve the game. Like this I give some constructive feedback for once. The ideas are in no particular order. And if you have some ideas for improvement too, share them in the comment section. Now let's start. Number 1. Balancing the weapons. For me it is really annoying to see all the time the MP7, the M4, the MP5, the Grau or lately even the snake shot magnums in the kill feed. And I get wrecked often by those. So I know I could use them too, but I also do sometimes. But for me the weapon meta needs a little bit more variety. These guns are ridiculously overpowered and Infinity Ward should do something there. Because it would be cool to be able to have good rounds with also some other weapons who are probably not even fully automatic. Number 2. I really would like to see the map voting back. But since skill based matchmaking is in this game and they have to always make a new lobby, this is not possible. But how about a map filter, just like with the game modes. And I'm sure since Activision is so proud of their 50 million player base, we shall find enough player for every map. Sorry, not for you, Dickadilly, but for every other map, yeah. Number 3. Flap Jacket Field Upgrade. I recently was reading on Reddit what the community is discussing about, and I found a pretty interesting idea. A field upgrade where you put an armor plate into your jacket, just like in Warzone, and this gives you 25 extra health and EOD for a short time. Of course, this field upgrade should be slowly charging and come with some downsides, like some decrease in movement speed. But after all, it is only 25 health, so this is just one or two bullets by the most guns. I found this pretty interesting and something worth thinking about, so tell me what you are thinking about this one. Would be a cool new field upgrade in my opinion. Number 4. Nerfing the Ghost Perk. Almost everyone in Modern Warfare plays Ghost as a perk in the second slot. Uh, this helps all those campers out there way too much. So I have two ideas of changing here. First, make Ghost only working when you are moving or using kills. Like it was in almost every Call of Duty since Black Ops 2 I think. This will at least expose them when you have a UA. Or we need to buff other perks in the slot too. So here I will choose Hardliner or Pointman. I have two ideas. For Hardliner I would love to see that two assists are like one kill. It was like this in previous Call of Duty so why not in Modern Warfare. And then for point man, you should get points for staying in the hard point for example. As it is right now this doesn't help you with your score streak so it would be cool if really playing objective even if it's just staying in the hard point, staying by the, by the headquarters, something like this gives you points because it doesn't change much if only kills give you points. So this will help in my opinion. And I would like to see that you need less points to earn a streak. For example, a UAV instead of 400 points, which are equal to 4 kills, only 350 points, or probably only 300 points. I think this will make people playing more objective and they probably think about those alternatives to the goal spot. Just idea here. Number 5. Change battle hub. As it is right now, it just decreases the time you are stunned or flash. But in my opinion, it should decrease the effect itself. Because often I die to a stun or a flash even if I am using battle hardened just because the effect is too strong, not too long. This would make the perk more valuable for me. The rest of the tier 3 slot is pretty good balanced in my opinion. So just turn down the effect a little bit if you are using battle hardened like this you can at least defend you a little bit. 
Then, number 6. No equipment on the Gulag. Since we spoke about the stuns and flashes, for me and the Gulag should be no lethal or tactical equipment. Only a pure 1v1 with the gun. It is just so annoying to die just because you were stunned. I mean, in the Gulag the better player should win, not the player who had more luck by throwing the stun in the right direction. Number 7. Respawn with more than a pistol. Often, when you are able to win the Gulag, you respawn, but then the problem is, there is almost no more loot around, and you get killed right after landing without having any chance to defend yourself. To prevent this, I would like to see that if you win the Gulag, you can spawn with a better weapon and one reserve magazine of ammo. But of course, not the best weapon in the game, and not fully equipped too. I would like to see something like a Farmaz or a UC with a reflex sight or a grip and probably both of them and this shouldn't be applied if you are about to respawn due to a buy station. Because your mates did the work, not you. Like this you get a little extra reward for winning in the Gulag and you have a chance to redeploying and defend yourself. For me it's a cool idea, I don't know what you think about this but tell me in the comments. Number 8. No more kill streaks in the end zone. We all know the situation, you are in one of the last two final circles, you get a good position and then airstrike incoming and you are dead. For my opinion it should not be possible to use kill streaks like the airstrike or the cluster strike in the final two or probably only the last circle. For me it should win the team who is the better not the one who just saved the most kill streaks for the end zone. In the know with those rooftop campus you can often only counter with kill streaks and you will complain that you can't do anything about them so this brings me to point number nine number nine dynamic end zones like we know it from Fortnite. it is way too easy to just finish five recon contracts buy your loadout and then fly into the end zone with the helicopter since often the teams who just has the best position wins and this motivates to camp, I propose a dynamic end zone which can become smaller and move into random direction. Of course the recon contract should not be showing this dynamic zone. So just like we know it in Fortnite, a little zone who moves like this, if you are really camping on the final building, you have to move, not just waiting up on top of this. Like this I think it is fair if you don't have a precision airstrike because you can't use it anymore. And you still can win because the other team can't camp no more just in the final zone. Just idea I had, I don't know what you think about this, let me know. And finally, number 10. Only lock on launches. For me it is just ridiculous how easy it is to kill someone with an RPG. I often got killed by someone who is using a launcher but is probably an awful player. I think most the community hate this too, so in my opinion there should only be lock-on launches in the war zone. Like this you can defend yourself against vehicles, because they are really strong and it's really annoying to get uh, run over by them, but you don't get those no skill launcher kills. Because they are just really annoying, at least in my opinion. And lock-on launches are still valuable for me in my opinion, because you can tear down those helicopters, you can destroy those trucks, but you get killed by someone who just can't aim and is just bad but has a RPG or I don't know a pila just to shoot at you. So for me this would be a great idea. So these were 10 ideas I had to improve Warzone and Modern Warfare a bit. Because it is a solid shooter but for me there are some points which should really change. And if they want to keep people playing these games for a long period of time that's probably some points to improve. So tell me what do you think about these ideas, or if you have other ones, put it in the comments. So that's it as well, my ideas, because lately I was really playing often multiplayer and Warzone and I had fun. Probably the first time since my video about skill based matchmaking. Don't know if they turned it down or at something like this, but I had fun. But there were some pretty small points who were just annoying me, so yeah, that's something, something to change off which could make it probably really one of the best Call of Duty's the last few years. So yeah, that's it. If you want to see more of Call of Duty content, don't forget to look, subscribe and follow me on Twitch. This really supports me and is free for everyone. 
And at this point the gameplay is not over, I think, but it is such a good gameplay. I let you enjoy the rest just because the round is really good and it's entertaining, it's fast paced and yeah, I'm out of it. My name is Caponator and it was a pleasure to talk to you today. I hope to see you back soon for another video. Ciao! Whoa, whoa, honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa.